Game two of the Griffins' three-game series against Central Oklahoma looked a lot like game one, with the Griffins keeping it close and in control until the last couple of innings. The Broncos won 5-1. to one. For us, we've been pitching really well for the most part, um, all the way up to probably the seventh or eighth inning for most of the year. Um, but once we get to the latter part of the game, sometimes the matchups uh, haven't been where we wanted them, and that's kind of where we've been giving up our runs. Anthony Casaneda took the mound for the Griffins and only allowed two runs throughout seven innings. I did okay today. Uh, they had a really good game plan against me today, and uh, I was just working with Loft and uh, Kyle try to break that game plan up and change some stuff up. Well, yeah, Anthony Casaneda, he's been he's been terrific for us all year, and he had another good outing um, today, but he, he got a little tired. Um, he was forced to come out of the game uh, there towards the end, otherwise he typically would be in. The Broncos scored three more runs in the ninth to put it away, as the Griffins were held to just six hits the entire game. Their lone run came from a Nolan Monty home run in the third. They've got a pretty good staff. I mean, there's um, not much as far as changing the lineup, and we have who we have, but um, um, we got to do a little bit better job of trying to hit the ball the other way a little bit. You know, we're doing some things that I think trying to do too much, but um, get a couple base hits here and there, kind of build our confidence. We'll be okay. After Sunday's game, Western moves to 12-18 and 18 overall and 9-8 and 8 in the conference. Their next series will begin on Friday at Emporia State. For Griffin Media, I'm Morgan Doyle.